And if only thing you have to offer is your body, man, eventually it's going to go sour and south for your female counterpart. I'm back with part two. I'm back with part two, you guys. You're gonna wanna sit down, you wanna listen to part two. If you if you have a part one, you wanna be a part two. Okay, so in my previous video, I did a video entitled Five Things Women Wish Men Knew About Them. And if you missed that video, click off this video and go to that video and then come back to this video. This is part two. I don't know, I do not want to go over those reasons again like i said to watch that video i want to focus on part two and the reasons why i'm doing this video is because i want women to be understood for years women in relationships have been misunderstood by men by society on the whole but particularly their male counterparts so instead of me saying number six because I did five in the last video. I'll just go back to number one. The first thing, continuing on, that women wish men knew is that it's not all about intimacy for us. Women want more than just physical intimacy. You guys, I just saw this awesome TikTok about intimacy and why women want more than just physical intimacy from a man it's a perfect support to everything i'm saying about this topic watch this video a woman doesn't need sex as much as she needs affection and love affection is not love affection is not sex rather most men believe that when they are completed with their sexual experience the woman is happy it's not necessarily true matter of fact many times most women are angry after their husband climaxes because she's not fulfilled because her need everybody say need a woman doesn't want affection she needs it just like a car needs gasoline a female needs affection affection is not sex having sex with your wife is not an expression of affection is usually the results of it. Affection, let me define it for you. Affection is the application of effects to produce an effect. Again, affection is what? The application of an effect to produce an effect. In other words, to show affection, you got to apply something to the person. And it has an impact and affects them. So you, you give an effect. That's why a woman needs to be told every day, by her husband, I love you. It's an effect. Every day, 10 times a day, you tell her, I love you. She needs that as affection. Affection is sending her flowers for no reason at all. Yeah. Affection is holding hands with her in public, walking through the mall. That's an application of effect. Affection. Is telling her, come sit near me again while we're driving. You did it when you were courting. What happened now? Affection is kissing in public in front of your old girlfriend. All right, push crack, man, go on. Church out. Because men don't want to hear that. Men are all about the physical. And if you are a man and you are all about the physical, then you are not meeting the need or needs of your female counterpart. Take it from me, I'm a woman, so I can tell you exactly how women out there feel. Now, I might not speak for those ones who are into that physical intimacy all the time, but I'm speaking for the majority of women I think I am. And physical intimacy is not what is going to keep your female companion interested in you and keep the spark alive in your relationship we want more than that 
Women are physical beings when it comes to affection and love and attention. And that's more of the emotional and mental side. Now, men, don't 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 come at me with this. Oh, we were we were wired. We were wired that way. Oh, all men like this. Oh, all men like that. Rubbish. Garbage. I think because this has been a mantra for years, for thousands of years, it's really been passed down from generation to generation where men say out loud that they require physical intimacy, also known as sex, a whole lot. And if they don't get it, they will go somewhere else to get it to fulfill a void or quench a sexual thirst. But that is not true. They try to say it's science and that, that like I said, men are wired that way, but you don't have self-control. If you lack self-control, then you lack the ability to control your feelings and emotions when you can't get what you want. If you have self-control, that means that even if you don't get what you want, that you think what you think you want, you can still go on your day, go on your life, and everything can be fine and dandy. But women want more than that. We want intellectual capacity. We want communication. We want security. We want friendship. We want protection. And if only thing you have to offer is your body, man, eventually it's going to go sour and south for your female counterpart. So men, women require more than physical intimacy. If you want to keep her happy, she wants more than that. Yes, you may want that more than she does. That's fine, compromise. But make sure you're not, not just focusing on that because that's what you want. Find out what she wants. Number two, men, women do not want you to change them, okay? And when I say that I mean you are the stronger person. You are the stronger vessel. The Bible says that women are the weaker vessel. So, of course, we are not going to be like you, strong as you, as fearless as you. So, don't try to change us into becoming you. Allow us to continue to be timid and humble and meek and lowly and sometimes a little bit afraid of certain things might happen around us, around the house, natural disasters, we may see one little flying bush go here, when a centipede flying around there, and we, ah! Ah! Yeah! don't look at us and say, what you say as well? No, we were born like that. We are made like that. If you are not afraid of it, we are. Don't try to toughen us up. Okay? You can't toughen. It's almost like, a leather belt. A leather belt is a leather belt for a reason. Okay? Leather leather is very expensive. When you buy anything leather, it's not going to be cheap. Okay? Because it's going to last you years, 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 years. It, it, it was made to be tough. Right? So, think about it as you are trying to make a leather belt into a cotton ball. It's not going to... I don't care how much you manipulate that and mold that and change that. It's not going to happen so please don't change us if we are emotional if we are afraid if we lack this if we lack that if we are not strong enough don't try don't try to push it because all you're gonna do is just turn us away and then we don't want to be around you so leave us alone number three women want their own identity when it comes to you do you know how men have, certain couples have certain cute names for each other? Women don't want to be called baby all the time. You know, baby is, is a generic, universal name for anyone. You know, that can be for anybody. We want cute names, a name that only we can identify with. Now, I don't call my husband baby. I don't. Why? Because everyone calls their spouse or their girlfriend or their boyfriend baby. So imagine me in a crowd, and my husband is in a crowd, and I'm like, baby, who's going to turn around? 
everybody's gonna turn around. Everybody's it's someone's baby, right? So I don't call him that. I don't call him by his first name. I don't call him baby. Persons who are close to me would know. I'm not gonna expose what I call him a national YouTube, <laughs> national television. But persons who are close to me know what I call him. And it's a unique name because I'm different, I'm unique, I'm special, thank you. And it's not a name that you would hear someone call their spouse. Okay, now he, if he if he watches video, which he he watch me, well, he watches my video. If he watched this video, he would say that I stole the nickname that I have for him. He had it for me, but I stole it, so he just let me run with it. So yeah, I'll give that to him. But women want special, cute, unique names that you can identify us with from somebody else. That baby and babes that played out. Y'all gotta just listen to me. In the next couple of weeks, it's gonna be 2023, you know. Y'all gotta come different. Y'all gotta come correct. We don't want you to call a baby. Call us something else. Go Google it. <laughs> one more thing, man. This is the last one. This is gonna be this it's gonna be the final. This is gonna be the final version of this this video. Number four. Women want you to dress up for them. Okay? And not in that, let me explain. The same way women, the same way men want their women to look nice, women want their men to look nice. You know, don't say, oh, I don't like dressing up. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I don't do Sometimes dress like them. Sometimes look like them. Sometimes dress. Sometimes buy something that they bought and match them. Sometimes buy a little nice outfit out of the blue and say, babe, not, not baby, not baby. <laughs> and say, you put your name in there. I dress up for you. This is for you. You know, we want you to look good too. We want to look good together. It's not all about us. It's about us. It's not about the females. It's also about us having that same spark that's going through the two of us, you know? So we want you to dress up for us the way we dress up for you. So make sure you buy one or two cute outfits here and there. And you know, sometimes ask us, would you like to see me? Let me tell you, go out there and buy it. You know, we like those kind of things. Nothing wrong with that. But you're not going to be called soft. Or you're going to lose some of your mojo. You know, you're going to be macho. And be cute. But those those, those are things we like, guys. I, I mean, there's so many other things that I can go on with. I can do a part three to this. I can do a part four. But those are the four things that women wish men knew about them. And women aren't talking about these things. I don't know why. But I'm gonna have some I'm gonna have some more sit down girl talk videos with my subscribers. And we're gonna dialogue on here. We, we wanna we want we want we want the men to know. Because you can tell them in the communication, but sometimes they don't be listening. They don't be listening to you. But then you go public. And they all they all ask. They want here, listen to me, let me see what you got to say. But let me know in the comment section if there is anything I'm missing out you guys let me know please type it in the comment section let's dialogue women you answer this question in the comment section what else do you wish men knew about you put, put it in the comment section let's let's see what it is please let's just share this so we can get it out there and, and they can probably understand us more so when they have when they, when they better understand us they better able to, to, to deal with us and control us not control us they better able to deal with us you know, if you can't understand me, how can you deal with me? I'm telling you how I operate. This is how I am wired. Like you guys like to say. But that's the best for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I guess to make sure you comment in the comment section. Share, like this video. And come back for more relationship talks, marriage talks, spousal talks, spousal talks. All those kind of talks on my channel. I do it here. I do it everywhere. I do it. Listen to me. Just, just subscribe. Don't just subscribe guys okay thanks for watching guys Mwah.